All right, guys, check it out. So this is uh, from this brush GPS drone. This is the camera. This review is just of the camera, and although I will touch on a couple other things. Uh, immediate takeoff with this drone after you do the calibration and also the gyroscope calibration. Um, it seems to work well. It seems to work well. It's kind of just sitting here, and uh, I actually had my hands up, and it was sitting quite nicely. It had over 10 satellites. Uh, I do have concerns with this, though, because if you want to see the full flight video, you could see that. As I went out in distance, I don't know if it's a combina combination of loss of satellites or poor satellites or wind. I was dealing with a little bit of wind, and this drone uh, didn't seem to do really well in it, despite the fact that it has a 7.4 volt uh 1000 milliamp an hour battery. I thought that'd give it a little bit of a oomph to it and a little bit of speed and a little bit of aggression, but uh, it seems not to be the case too much. You'll notice some frame skipping here, guys. I am using the stock SD card, so if you're going to use a stock SD card for this, you could probably expect a little bit of frame skipping. I will throw a class 10 in this at some point and see if that frame skipping goes away. But again, I show it how it is. I tell it how it is. This is what you can expect of a video quality out of the box with the SD card that they provide if you get this drone. Uh, again, a class 10 might, uh, might solve up that skipping. All in all, the video quality that's coming off of this is fairly detailed, uh, especially for uh, a toy grade drone. It's it's decent image quality on this. Obviously, it's not super HD. It's not 1080p. You're not shooting in 4K. But for a toy, this isn't bad. And this is also 5.8 gigahertz uh, toy grade drone, and it records directly to the SD card via the camera, uh, so you don't have to constantly record via app, which I actually like. Uh, so you'll be able to throw a set of goggles on with this. Uh, it's 5.8 gigahertz. We're going to go ahead and take off again, as you can see here, and give this another shake right down there. You can see me, and then uh, we're going to go fly a little bit more. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, smash that subscri subscribe channel. If you like, uh, if you like abandoned stuff, if you like exploration, if you like Route 66, if you like cars, I kind of cover it all in one ball of mold on the J Drone channel. So uh, definitely get with that. Smash that subscribe button. If you want to know more about this drone, you want to see the flight review, you want to see an unboxing. I already have those out. Just search for my most recent videos. Uh, I've kind of been working with this within the past two days here. Uh, if you want color codes on this drone um codes will be down below and there's a little crash landing and as you'll notice again it'll freeze again right uh actually i think i cut it i apologize for that i guess i cut it too short as i was walking towards it the image froze again uh and again that might be remedied by a class 10 sd card uh what i was saying down below will be codes for this um, if you want to jump the gun and grab this right now, you think the video quality is good, you thought the flight review was okay, which I thought the flight review was a little bit less than okay, because um, it was toilet bowling and whatnot, by all means, utilize the codes down below, that's what they're there for, they're for you guys to get a little bit cheaper, uh, then you might be able to get it elsewhere. Um, myself, I'm going to continue testing this. Uh, if you're interested in this drone and you don't like the first results, let me test this. Let's see if we can get this to be a good flyer. If we can get, get it to be a good flyer, in a price range, that's not it's not bad for a GPS drone. It's not bad for an uh, embodied 5.8 gigahertz uh, recorder, so to speak. But we got to get it flying a little bit better. we got to get out on a windless day because this was a windy day and I don't think it handled the wind very well. Again, guys, I'm going to say it again. I'm J Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Uh, and if you like drones, urbex, whatnot, we got it all going down here. All right, later.